All right, welcome back to uh, New Edge Logistics. We are running the Owners Operators uh, series for the channel, and uh, it's all based around the GDC beta mod. So currently in the works. Hopefully we have no more issues because everything's done right this time. Um, I did talk on Discord about the used trucks. That should bring us more trucks in three to five day business days. So we will, uh, let's see, it's Monday. So around Thursday or Friday, we'll check this. So for the time being, we don't have anything to worry about there anyways, because we are broke. So, uh, let's see where we can make some money. Um, let's see. We have a good amount of jobs available. I would like to try and use some, run some jobs that are closer to expiring. Like this is only two hours and 13 minutes. So like we'll probably miss all of these. That one might be available. So we'll, we'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll run the uh, transformer, which is 123,000 pounds uh, from Houston to Lufkin. And it doesn't pay awful either for us not, for us being in the beginning of the profile. It's going to pay 80 cents a mile, so it's not awful. It's probably awful for the amount of weight you're hauling. I'd imagine this much weight would probably pay way better if we had some skill, but go ahead and check out the load. Pretty cool. All right, we got two hours. Let's get it. says we'll be there by 252 we're obviously going to lose some time so I would prefer to be there by like three-ish and I know that our sound needs adjusted so what we will do yeah we'll turn that down a little bit We'll try that. Um, if you guys are watching this and the exhaust is too loud, let me know. Definitely wanted to make that light. Don't want to get ticketed in front of that cop. You can definitely tell that there's quite a bit of weight back there. But this John Ruda, Kenworth, 
kind of makes light, light work out of it, so. Pretty cool truck. Extended frame. I wish the sim had was uh, blinking turn lane, uh, turn lights. I hate that the turn lights are either green or red. There's like no blinking yellow. Because there's a lot of times that uh, you could probably make a turn and you can't because there's a cop nearby. Eat that ticket. with us uh, starting this profile in Texas um, I, I'm hoping that the cities nearby are a little bit more supportive for the beginning of our company per se uh, so that we don't run out of jobs now, I do know if it gets tight on jobs we can always take a rest during one of these quick jobs to advance to the next day more jobs should populate by then, but we don't want to run jobs to the extent that they're late and we lose XP and money. So we're going to try to treat this uh, new profile as a clean start. So for instance, you wouldn't want to restart this, uh, well, I don't know. We're only an hour and a half away from the destination. You could probably uh, you could probably take a rest here, and it would be fine. I don't know how long the rest periods are. I think no matter what your uh, rest timer's at, the rest period is always the same. So next time we do rest, I will I will figure out how long that is. I want to say it's a eight or ten hours 
Decided a, I am going to look for some mods for box trucks or flatbed trucks, maybe even tow trucks, um, just so we can try to buy a vehicle that's going to be a little cheaper. Um, that way we don't have to do quick jobs like forever. I think it would be kind of cool if we could do one whole shop that was based around like uh, dump trucks. See, this is us. So, I haven't found any mods yet. Uh, the only thing I did find is uh, Smarty on the S uh, SES forums is still developing a uh, GMC single cab truck and I really 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 want it <laughs> it is a good looking rig I love the old GMC semis um, I have a bunch of Tonka toys from uh, the 70s and 80s that are the the GMC semi so those were like my first toys as a child so I, I think it's pretty cool that in real life you don't really see that many of them I can't remember the last time I saw Chevy semi, so your Fords are still a little common. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oof. Trailer brakes are strong. <laughs> just getting somebody that'll let us in. The thought is if I would creep out there. There we go. truck comes out to a mod we will get it for this profile whether it's paid or free um, I would gladly pay for that truck just because it's it's different but if you know where good mod developer is I want to stay away from the shady websites I'm not I'm not going down that rabbit hole say so somebody out there has to have good quality mods Let's see we need over and nobody's gonna let us over we have got to turn here Now we can get over. Whoa, whoa. 
Wow. Okay. Look at how close that was from hitting. Now. This will be the tricky part. Getting this trailer to not make contact. Let's see, and this guy is just gonna go. Any that's awesome. This AI sucks so bad. Like none of this makes no sense. Bad thing is, I think that Mustang's gonna sit there and wait. Okay, so. Alright, we look good in the mirror. Can't say the same for that traffic there, but. That's a bad thing about these long articulated loads is Let's see I'm not gonna Let's see so sometimes you can kind of inch it out there and traffic will stop Clearly not that guy. Okay. Oof, talk about a freaking disaster. Tesla's gonna stop right in the way. That makes no sense. I don't know what this guy's doing. So sometimes flashing the lights. Get him to do something. Nope, he's just gonna sit there and make us back up. There's nobody behind us. If he stays there, I'll be able to... Nope. He's... Okay. At least they're going to wait. I am very much hoping for a AI driver update. Luckily, we don't have to worry about picking where to put this because they have picked it for us. So. This should be money. Sweet. Green means they're happy, so we're happy. Let's get paid. Not bad, 145 bucks, 230 XP. Very glad we did not have a collision. That would have cost all of our profit. And we have just a few jobs available. We have a frack tank that's 8,200 pounds, so my guess is that's probably an empty frack tank. We have some big tires. Um, 
let's see. It looks like all of these are probably going to expire here shortly. Hmm. Let's do... See, that's an international. Um, I mean, we'll get a better XP out of the toys or fertilizer. They play. They pay relatively close to the same. Uh, see, my hope is that after we get done with this load, there's going to be more loads open because all of these will have expired. That's what kind of worries me. Yeah. And I'm not doing a job that where we can't make at least like 150 bucks. So you know what? Uh... See, we can go Houston to Longview, which is where is where is Longview? Okay, so it's northern. Um, let's do this one just so we can drive through Wake or uh, Huntsville. I feel like that going into that city. Those will be two new cities for us, so those should benefit towards giving us more jobs. That is the my understanding, at least. All right, we'll check out our truck and load. Got a nice peat. It looks like we're running doubles on the reefers. Shouldn't be a bad load. I hate triples. I very seldomly will haul a triple. Like in real life, I probably wouldn't haul a, uh, a double. I'm just not a fan. But for the game, they're, they're okay. Had a bike there for a minute. All right, it says we'll be there by 8:32. And where is it we come out of here? So we got missed these boxes. Looks like we're just barely gonna clear them. Should be good behind us. Tesla trailer kind of fitting since we are in southern Texas Let's see GPS says we'll be there at 837 so realistically for the load we're hauling and the weight if we're there by like nine o'clock, I'll be okay. See, that doesn't make us late, so.
see, I don't think anyone is going to let us out. There's traffic for days. So we might try to uh, pinch our way out a little bit. See who feels generous or if they're just going to play chicken. I will say in this uh, this new GDC update, there there is different AI cars. That is a newer uh, GMC truck. And when we hauled that last load, I saw a brand new Tundra. So and this is gonna suck if we gotta sit here all day. How close are we to getting out? Engineer. Oh yeah. See, that's how you do it. Swing this out. Alright. Probably didn't have to swing it out that far, but we cleared it, so that's what matters. I think for the time being, while these videos are going to be shorter, um, just because loads are shorter, I'm going to try to video a lot of these, uh, probably with minimal discussion from me, um, and you guys can kind of let me know what you would like to see and what you don't want to see. This drive is on a highway, so it shouldn't take too terribly long. And if we look, we got plenty of time to get there. Rest is not going to be an issue. Let's see, we are going to need to get over. Psych. Okay, now we're good. Remember to turn the lights on. There we go. Definitely don't want to take it for lights. In all my luck, we would definitely get one. Check out the Houston landscape. It's pretty awesome. I 
kind of wish we could drive more downtown Houston. I think that'd be really cool. But maybe one day, who knows? I'm not sure how much the the game's engine could support. So I don't want to ask for too much. <laughs> Pretty happy with what we've got, so thinking about turning GPS sound on um, just because it would help a little bit I'm trying to look for uh, a mod that will provide better vocal directions but uh, if, you, if you guys end up getting tired of the GPS audio just let me know and I can turn it back off definitely don't have a problem with that it looks like we're going to get off. Nope, we're staying straight. So... There we go. limit is 65 so we're going to try to wick it up a little bit we get to bypass the way station so good news for us actually while we are get a good snapshot before it gets dark so the way the lights hit in the truck is just awesome awesome sweet Even better. Sweet. So we're in Huntsville. At some point, we will focus on the uh, on the snapshot opportunities that the map points out, and the uh, the video. I guess they're like display tours or whatever. Um, the, those clips have like significance. We will watch those. Uh, the significant snapshots that they point out on the map. We won't worry about taking any of those until we have our own trucks.
just about two hours to go. The goal is to get there by about 9 p.m. right now. We're going to crush that by about eight minutes. So if we stay on the path we're on, this will be going right as planned. Now, if, if you run this mod yourself, it is important to remember you don't want to focus all about the money early on, like for the first two levels. You need to focus on exploring new cities because that's how you're going to get more loads. If you don't get yourself out there to explore more cities, you're only going to be able to make deliveries to the three or four cities that it automatically gives you and that could be a problem because we had a problem with it when I first ran this mod off camera it turned into an issue so it's really important that you try to get loads that are either going to or coming from new places or if they have you explore new places along the way they don't have to be start points and destinations. It really just has to be you getting acknowledged for going through a new city. So, all right. Look at the left. Look at the right. turn out there. See how this thing looks going down the road. probably going to have to run two more loads to be able to level up. The first lo um, level up point we get will be destination. We're going to run that the same again. The first two points will be destination uh, skills. And then if you're watching this, type in the chat what you would like to see next. Uh, after we get this load ran, I will go through the options. Um, I'll let you guys pick what we think we should do. Aside from fuel points, I don't want to do any fuel skills for a while just because it's not going to net us anything. We don't pay for fuel. Uh, as, as an operator, we're just driving someone's truck, so we do not pay for fuel or repair. So... That is about the only one I will not allow. I said 
Our goal was to be there by 9. Right now we're 10 minutes out. It's amazing how it can change that quickly. Welcome to Waco. say that, I might be wrong. I think it's the right side, so... Well, hello, officer. Go bust that Charger and Mustang. What, what? Man, we got hit. That... <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, luckily, it didn't cost us anything. Not sure why the AI just turned when we had the right of way. It didn't damage our load. But they hit us like right between the doubles. Again, the AI is wild in this game. It, uh. Sometimes it don't make any sense. I have. There's no good explanation for half the stuff they do. It's like that Volvo should have stopped. Nope. Nonetheless, we've made it to Tractor Supply. 
So let's get this shipment delivered and just be done with it. So, uh, they're going to give us an easy choice. I've never seen the 150 XP one before, so I feel like that would be a headache. Luckily, uh, this is our option and we'll gladly take it, because with doubles, I'm not about backing up. Just let me put it somewhere and you guys can unhook it. And do whatever you gotta do. It's about how I feel. Let's see, we should be close. There we go. Green means the client's happy, which means we're happy because we are getting paid. awful lot of lag tonight so we got 402 xp that is going to put us up to level two and like i said our first point will be long distance because it gives us delivery up to 400 miles which will give us a much better chance of getting uh, other jobs um, after 650, I could really care less, um, cause anything through here will be like one trip per video kind of deal. Um, I figure we'll get to that point at some point, but the important thing to realize is we get no bonus for any of these. So the only upside to these is it gets you more jobs. So after 650 miles, I don't really care. Let's do that. And we got an email. The bank says, hey, buddy, we can help you grow. Your credit limit's been raised to $1,000. Golly. So that's probably what's going to happen. You, we have these different options for loans, but we're not going to get each option for a level. We're going to have to work our way up. And if it's $500 per level, holy cow, that's going to suck. Um... We'll check used trucks real quick. Yeah, so this is the same as it was. These are all fairly new trucks. They don't have very many miles on them. They're about fairly new price. I mean, these are not hardly any cheaper than they were. So we're going to pass on all of these. And hopefully um, the sim will update here. It's Monday at 9.20 p.m. So let's hope that... Uh, Let's call it Thursday by 8 p.m. It's updated. So that'll be our goal. Uh, as far as jobs go. Oh, yeah, I was going to go over the skill points. So, viewers, help me out here. In one more level, we're going to get this rank two. After that, the choices are up to you. Whatever has the most votes is what we'll go with. You're gonna have to be um, exact in your answer. You can't just say hazardous cargo because we have six options. So hazardous cargo, you have explosives such as dynamite, fireworks, ammunition. Class two is gases. So you have different flammable gases such as uh, acetylene or hydrogen. You have class 2.2 which is non-flammable gases such as uh, cryogenic gas is liquid, such as nitrogen and neon. Then you have class 2.3, which is poisonous gases, uh, fluorine, chlorine, hydrogen, cyanide. Dangerous stuff. Uh, class 3 is flammable liquid, such, a, such as gasoline, diesel, kerosene. Uh, class 4 is flammable solids. So this one's kind of cool. You have um, 
nitrocellulose, magnesium, or safety matches. Uh, you can do uh, spontaneously combustible aluminum al alkalis or white phosphorus. Um, and then calcium and potassium. Those are really neat from a science side of things. Uh, then you have toxic and infectious substances such as potassium cyanide, merc uh, mercuric chloride, and pesticides. And then you have biohazards such as infectious materials, virus uh, cultures, used needles, etc. Cool, I guess. Uh, hopefully it pays a lot. <laughs> that would be my... That would kind of be my assumption. Then you have corrosive substances. So you have uh, substances that can dissolve organic tissue or severely corrode certain metals, such as sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, potassium hydroxide, or sodium hydroxide. So remember, there are five choice, or six choices that you can vote for hazardous cargo. Uh, if I see it, just a hazardous cargo comment, I'm going to put it to whatever has the least amount of votes uh, when I see the comment. Then we have high value, fragile, and just in time. We get uh, rewards for each of these ranks, so I'm good with using those. Um, the ranks get better as you go. The just in time gets really good as long as it's important or urgent. If it's regular delivery, you're not getting going to get squat. But uh, when you guys are picking these out, I would keep in mind that rank one and two for just in time deliveries unlocks important deliveries and then urgent deliveries. So there is something to be gained there other than money and experience points. For Agile Cargo, uh, it, the first time you put a point to it, it will unlock Fragile Cargo loads. After that, it's just money and XP. Rank 1 is high value offers unlocked. So these may not do a whole lot of good if we don't have at least the high value cargo I don't think Fragile Cargo will be on any of these, but they might. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. So, that's where we're going to be tonight. I'm about to uh, shut this down and go eye racing. Our league is running the uh, Indianapolis Road Course in the NASCAR Truck Series tonight. So, I'm sure I'm not going to do very well there. <laughs> and if that's the case, I might be back on to make another video. But... As always, thank you guys for watching, tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the road next time. Bye.